This is a story about a girl and a guy and a German city called Munich. They share their adventures with another guy and a girl. Welcome to day four of Caps and Braids Munich Trip. Good morning. So today is our Sabbath day and we are enjoying a good breakfast or about to. A couple of things about foods here in Germany that we have learned in the last couple of days. One is that you don't necessarily have to have a full running efficient refrigerator. Over here is our refrigerator. Rather, inside of this cabinet is something that is slightly cooler than the rest the of the room. Yeah. temperature around us. It's, this is my breakfast. We've got some Netflix, which is interesting because the only actual words in English on the box is Netflix. Everything else is in German. And uh, muesli, which uh, oh, yes. is like, okay. it sounds, uh, except it's got banana chips inside. It's, it's fruchte muesli. Pardon me. That fruit. Milk comes in containers like this. Uh, not really what we're used to with the huge gallon jugs and uh, one liter at a time. We've been eating our cereal and eggs come inside of handy containers of 10 instead of 12. Interesting. I've noticed the eggs are not free range because they are so easy to crack. Those shells just break like even easier than American eggshells. We've also added cheese to it, but cheese doesn't quite taste the same, including cheddar. It's, it's drier and thicker and saltier than regular American cheddar. Much of our usual Sabbath day is spent in studying scripture, and today was no exception. We read the Bible and or journaled in the living room. The Sanders had already left to explore more of Munich, so we spent several hours in study. Meet again. That's good lunch, I think. This is lunch. Lunch. Meet again. It's just lunch. And for lunch, we're gonna have some tuna fish sandwiches. Do we like to live dangerously, Braids? Yes, we do, because our fridge doesn't keep things very cold. So we're gonna stay close to a bathroom for the next hour, and we see what happens. We bought these tuna fish sandwiches in expectation for this meal, since it was gonna be on Shabbat, and so. We bought it yesterday. Yeah. That's right. At a train station. And now we're going to dig into some of these and see how well this is kept. <laughs> we also had some delicious German chocolate. Moser Ruff. Mm -hmm. How is it, Brains? It's delicious. It has hot chilies in it. And I'm going to have this exotic food that no one can tell the name of. It's called Apfelmus. Anyone's guess what that could be? Or this stuff. And now we are on our way to the Perlacher Forst, where we are enjoying some beautiful German weather, uh, as you can see around us. Along the way, you can see where the bike trail goes and where we're supposed to walk. And never the twain shall meet. Despite the continuing rain, we donned our rain jackets and continued our mission to locate the chapel where Cap's parents were married. We found it! It had been in an army chapel back in 1975 when Sims and Marian Anderson were married, but by this time it had served as a Russian Orthodox church for decades. There was a service going on at the time that Saturday, so we didn't dare go inside seeing as we were in shorts and t-shirts and were completely drenched. We also had the chance to see some of the apartments up the street from the chapel. Some of this looked like it was built by Americans and now converted into civilian housing. At this point in our day, the storm hit. The sky became bored with just rain and hail started falling. 
church bells ringing, Russian kids screaming, and all the while the ground pounding with these white ice marbles making it clear that no one is safe on Der Hegel. Eventually it stopped. On the way back to our apartment, we caught sight of a circus at rest and an old cemetery. No. Guess what? It's time for everyone's favorite learning German segment. This time from day four. Kirche. Friedhof. Tunfisch. Alte Leute mögen nicht gefilmt werden, Cap. Old people don't like to be filmed, Cap. As the sun went down, there was only one way to end our fourth day in Munich. A fast-paced game of nuclear uno! The cards were flying and emotions ran high, as you can see here. And hours later, what happened? I won, after like two hours. <laughs> How long did that take? Was it an hour and a half? At least. That was a long uno game. It's true. At least, we, at least we all won one except for Ross. <laughs> <laughs> so now, at the end of the day, with my imaginary martini glass, uh, we, we can say that we had a very restful day. Um, a good day. And uh, that's why this video is so short. We're, uh, we're now getting ready for bed.